It's been put to us that 32,000 US dollars was handed uh, to the crew uh, to return these, the two Australian provided vessels. So $32,000 in cash uh, plus two new boats um, to turn around and to go to Indonesia. Do you refute those claims? Uh, Senator, uh, unfortunately, as, as part of the, um, or under the uh, constraints of the Minister's public interest immunity claim, I'm not able to answer uh, any detail in uh, relation to that. What specifically are you claiming under that? I'm, I'm just asking whether you, you can refute the allegation. Uh, Senator, it goes to, I can go through uh, the entire uh, public interest no, I immunity know, claim. No, I, I want to know which, uh, being able to, I've asked you whether you can refute the claim. I want to know um, what specific uh, uh, device you, are in, you, you wish to engage. Uh, Senator, material the disclosure of which could reasonably be expected to cause damage to national security, defence or international relations, including the disclosure of documents or information obtained in confidence from other governments. That is, that is one. There are a number of others that I could refer to more broadly. Uh, any and all engagements that we undertake uh, as, part of a, uh, as part of a return, that may give people smugglers a sense that they have a better understanding of our tactics uh, will, not, will not be discussed here today. And one thing that's missing in this is that what keeps a minister accountable is the parliament. And the parliament isn't being kept informed. So how do, how do we do our job to make sure that the executive is kept accountable? What we've got going on here, the issue that's raised by this situation is that we've got the government talking to the government, taking legal advice from the government, which then advises the government that what the government's doing is in accordance with the government policy. Can I write and the and, I and the, the job that we're charged to do, which is keep the government accountable, is not able to be done because of the fact that Operation Sovereign Borders is veiled in secrecy and information is not provided that will enable us to do our job.